Well, in the past two weeks, you've probably heard wash your hands dozens of times. It's because it actually works, but why? Here's meteorologist Kit Kloniger with a breakdown of how soap and water works to kill pathogens. Thanks, Sarah. Well, hygiene is the first defense against contact pathogens like viruses and bacteria. With everyone stuck at home, some of you may be able to uh, do an experiment if you want with your kids while you're sitting at home. Now, you can do it with some common kitchen items, water and oil. Oil is hydrophobic, which means it actually repels water and it will float. Giving it a quick stir, you're not really going to be able to mix them together when washing your hands. Now, this is like giving it a quick rinse. Now, it's not going to work, so you have to add a little bit of soap into the mixture and in a matter of seconds the soap and water will begin to mix together. This is what, why you have to wash your hands for 20 seconds or more so it can thoroughly kill the pack pathogens. So how does this actually kill them? Well cells are made out of something that's called phospholipids at least on the outer side. So this side is the phosphorus group and these are two fatty acid chains. Remember that, that's fat. The top likes water, the bottom repels water. Whenever you have these come up together and to form a cell wall you get Get what's called the phospholipid bilayer. It's basically just the cell wall, and it's a fancy term that biologists like to use. But inside, you have the pathogen or your own cells. This actually works for them as well. And outside, you can get nutrients inside. But whenever you introduce soap molecules into the mixture, this really likes fatty uh, conditions. So inside here, we have all these fatty acid chains. It'll get, get in there and rip out parts of the cell wall. Now, looking at a little bit more of a simplified version of a virus here, we've got all the stuff in the inside and this is the cell wall out here. Whenever you start washing your hands, it takes time to coat the cell wall with all those soap molecules. And whenever you start to wash that away, that'll eventually kill the cell. Sarah? Thank you very much for that explanation, Kit.